What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on? We are we are back with another East versus West. It's been a while. Um, I'm trying to save this channel. Or this channel. Why am I going to save my own channel? I'm trying to save this this series for just specific uh, Halloween and horror events. And with me always is my co-host Eddie Tainment. What up? What up? So we're going to talk a little bit about um, some Halloween Horror Nights predictions and some news for you guys to keep uh, your eye out. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> what down my boat? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are talking today uh, HHN 2019 for both Orlando and Hollywood. Um, Orlando has announced their uh, dates already, so you can already go buy your tickets and book your uh, trip. Um, Eddie, were you saying something like 41 dates this year? Yeah, so they got 41 dates in the, or 41 days announced um, on select nights through September to November from September 6th to November 2nd so far. And uh, anybody who's familiar with the event is well aware that they are notorious for adding extra days throughout the event's run. So 41 days currently announced, which is the most and the earliest start as of September 6th, and probably more to come. Yeah, so we got 41, 41 dates so far announced, and I, I think, think that's, that's a lot to do with Stranger Things. things. Oh, completely. Um, Stranger Things blew onto the scene last year um the the first time in a really long time that i've actually seen so many nights actually sell out yeah um i, I know whenever you buy your tickets there's a notice on there that says you know purchase in advance uh the event may sell out yeah. and i've been going to the event long enough to tell you that it usually doesn't sell out on that many days last year I think it was like the last week and a half sold out every single day. Yep. Um, that was the same over here. On top of that, Stranger Things, every time I went, was a three-hour wait. Oh, yes. A beautiful three hours. <laughs> yeah. Um, speed pass, baby. Yeah, speed pass. That's what I always did. Um, speed pass works amazingly. But three-hour wait, that was their marketing for the year. I still have my lanyard, which I'm a little mad because the clip for it to click – broke however in my horn eyes fashion i kept it going because it's a, still a beautiful land you're broken or not i am going to keep it until i get a new one for next year damn right <laughs> um, but nonetheless uh 41 nights announced uh nothing maze wise announced yet but um over here in hollywood which goes all the way to ireland that's where uh, john murdy is at he has been tweeting a storm about writing and getting a confirmation on some properties. He has not said what yet because, you know, Murdy is just going to give us a lot of teases until we get that first announcement. But he said um, a lot of them are good. He is writing some backup properties, however, if something f doesn't fall through right. Um, and, and it has done that in the past. Uh, we were supposed to get a Conjuring maze one year, and we ended up getting a Titans of Terror type maze. Um, so it, it has done that in the past, but it is what it is, and let's hope we get the original lineup. I could tell you this. One uh, person on Twitter that I talked with recently uh, does know the leak lineup. He will not give me any disclosed information about a leak lineup. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully keep your eyes out pretty soon because the leak lineup should be dropping pretty soon. Uh, and if that drops, uh, that's not an, like I said, it's not official, uh, but it could potentially be majority of the mazes. Yeah, um, as far as leak lineups go, I, I avoid them as much as I can. Um, but I mean, if it happens, it happens. Yeah. Uh, last year it happened, and for the most part, it was pretty spot on. Um, but there's a couple things out there that we don't need a leak lineup to know, which is. Stranger Things is returning. Stranger Things. Um, yeah. I want to say Halloween, too, maybe. 
I, I want to say Halloween as well. So basically, if you haven't seen it, my speculation video recently stated that something Blumhouse related will be returning this year, at least to Orlando and more than likely to Hollywood as well. But every year, or at least for the past couple of years in Orlando, we've had a horrors of Blumhouse. Yeah. Um, and the Blumhouse and Universal relationship is great. So there's nothing saying that they will break that. So this year, we'll either get another Horrors of Blumhouse, which may feature a Halloween 2018, or we'll get a Halloween 2018 house completely separate, which is what I am rooting for because, as you know, I am a huge fan of Michael Myers and I have a huge bias towards it. I know maybe oh, not. Oh, every... oh, you are? You're a huge fan? I, I, I never do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, kill the clowns suck. Halloween's the best. Oh, well, but... I mean, clowns, <laughs> let's take on a group of clowns versus Michael Myers. No, nah, I'm kidding. Dude. Clear Clowns is awesome. And yep. uh, that, that's another one that we'll talk about in just a moment. But um, Halloween is probably going to be the one that returns. I mean, I, I, that's what I'm hoping for. But something Blumhouse related. Um, so Blumhouse created the 2018 version of Halloween. Um, which means there's a good chance that's what they intended to release last year, um, but they ended up doing Halloween, The Return of Michael Myers. So um, for whatever reason, they weren't able to do the actual Blumhouse-created version. Um, I think it's because Halloween Horror Night started before the Blumhouse uh, release, so they probably didn't want to do one of those preview trailer houses. Uh, but yeah, I think there's a good chance that that's going to be returning, and then... Killer, Killer Clowns, uh, no pun intended, killed it last year at Orlando. So I think there's going to be a version of that in Orlando as well as a version of that in Hollywood. Um, some of the traditions show that if it's a successful scare zone in Orlando, then Hollywood may get it as a scare zone and a house next year. And that was evident in Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat returned as a as a haunted house for us last year when it was a successful scare zone the year before. You guys got it as a scare zone and as a house. Well, last year, the most successful scare zone was Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which I know that you were very upset that you didn't get to see in person. But it may be returning this year, and welcomely so, to Orlando as a house. And then maybe if the trend continues... It'll be a scare zone in a house at your end. Now, you did say that was a kind of cheat out in Hollywoods. I thought so. I, I thought last year they, I mean, I didn't get to experience your event last year. So, you know, my words, take them with a grain of salt. And obviously, I have a bit of a bias to Orlando. I've been going my whole entire life to Orlando. I've never been to Hollywood. But in any case, if in Orlando they gave me a house and a scare zone that matched, I would think that that's a potential opportunity for another property that we lost. Now, no, and I, and I want to touch a little bit on the cheat out now. For me, it wouldn't be a cheat out because for me, I love that movie so much that I, I would take a, a scare zone, a house, a tear tram, a, another house. if they could. A whole event. A whole event. Just kill a clown. Just <laughs> don't even do anything else in. Let's just do that. Yeah. But... No, I you know I can see where you where you can see of course um, people would think it'd be a cheat out, um, but it all depends how they interpret the maze and how they interpret the scare zone. Now I can see it being a really good maze, and I can also see it being a really good scare zone, and I can see where they could put the scare zone. Um, and it all depends what they show in the maze compared to what they show in the scare zone. Now there might be some stuff that is only going to be in the scare zone, and some stuff that's only going to be in the um in the maze now one thing i can see them turning and bringing to life which would be perfect for the uh scare zone of course is have you seen the movie you've seen the movie right duh okay um in the movie there's a famous scene where they turn the corner and the clowns are raiding a street and houses and they're collecting a bunch of uh cotton candy cocoons and all that and they're playing that like uh you know like sinister uh, circus music and stuff like that uh, but it's a whole block where uh, you know they got the confetti everywhere and stuff like that. That can easily be turned into a scare zone, and I would be generally fine with that. Yeah, I mean, I, I will tell you this much: it is a successful scare zone, and 
by far the biggest fan favorite last year. So becoming a scare zone at your event, you could undoubtedly believe that it's going to be a great one. Yeah. Um, transitioning into a house, I think, as well. Um, but the fact that, that they would do both would be a little displeasing for me just because of the fact that you could get it as a house and enjoy it and then get something else as a scare zone instead of getting both um, or get it as a scare zone and get something else as a house, you know, but I will say this much last year, getting it as a scare zone and then seeing how great it was and not having it as a house. I was almost like, damn, this could be so great. But now that it did so great and potentially could be returning this year, we have houses that are actually tents in Orlando. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we have our sound stages, but we have some tent houses. And if they could actually make it so that the tent resembles the tent from you know, the comes from outer space, I love that. mind blown. Yeah, I mean, you see how good they did with Poltergeist. Oh, yes. I mean, at least on our end. I mean, your end was pretty good, but on our end, like, uh, and I'm not, not picking aside or anything. Just the fact of how awesome the house looked it looked exactly like the house like and even thomas said like thomas grew up like down the street from where they filmed the original poltergeist so yeah. that house gave him nightmares as a kid but like he even said when we went like going back and looking at the maze compared to the actual house like it's, in, it's insane in Nam county of how much it resembles the actual house yeah for for us um the actual house facade was a i don't know if it was like yours or not um I haven't gone back and actually seen film of what your entrance looks like, but ours was going straight down into like the grave underneath the house, yeah. um, which was an amazing entrance with rain. There was actual rain falling, even though it wasn't raining outside because it was hot as hell that day. Um, yeah, right. I mean, it rains every day in Florida, but it wasn't raining at that moment. Humid. Yeah. Um, the the Poltergeist house was amazing. I, I, I have heard Thomas talk about it. Um, shout out to TLEV. Love you guys. You guys are dope. Uh, but yeah, the the event is shaping out, even though we have nothing, right? We have really nothing. All, all we have, and, and actually, let me go over that. We have, we do have some updates, at least for Orlando's end, but we don't have any actual announcements. Yeah. So even though with any announcements, I would still say that the, the event is shaping up to be something great. Um, just with the returning properties. But we also have the dates announced. We have some tickets announced. I don't know if Hollywood has a ticket announced just yet. We don't have tickets. We don't have dates. So we'll probably get ours in the next when I think when the first announcement comes out, maybe we'll get dates. Tickets, okay. tickets however, won't go on sale. I can guarantee you till about July or August. They always do that shit. I don't know why, but they always do that uh, July, August. And it, it kind of pains me because it's like, well, you know, I need to know ahead of time so I could save my money. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you could already start booking, man. I've, I've already started booking my trip to Orlando, and I'm already paying it off. So, yeah, I, I got my hotel booked. I'm going to be staying at the Hard Rock. But they got a couple of things that have already been announced. Of course, the dates that we've already spoken about, 41 days, the most amount of days starting in September 6th. I'm going to be staying there the first weekend. Um, they have currently a, uh, a a ticket that it's basically a buy one, get one ticket anywhere you can you stay from sunday to friday yeah. so you can't stay saturday and sun or saturday um but sunday to friday with this ticket and you could go any two days throughout that that time yeah and um the, the ticket is a buy one get one free so I, I forgot what the price was but it was maybe like 80 something to 90 something bucks and it's only available up to june 5th so if you're looking to go to the Orlando event, Anthony, and you're looking to go on a budget and you want to go more than one day, Anthony, then that is a ticket that you may want to look at purchasing before June 5th comes around. Um, I mean, I'm going to have a hotel, Anthony, and you could stay with me, Anthony. I, I so, get it. I get it. <laughs> I, I think I got the message. Come through, my dude. Um, I mean, if the flight's not that expensive... Um, on top of that, they got a couple of hotel packages that have already been made available to um, guests. And those hotel packages include this ticket, also include daytime tickets to the park in inclusion 
to those tickets, they they include also early entry to the daytime park as well. So there's a lot of things on the Orlando end that have already been made available. Um, and also, as I was booking it, and I, I didn't actually book a package. Um, I booked my hotel separately, just the hotel currently. And I, I'm staying at the Hard Rock Hotel for the opening weekend. But um, as I was booking it just to try it out so I could prepare for my video, I did notice that there's RIP and Unmasking the Horror Tours that are available for booking as well. So it's crazy how many things are available this early. Yeah. At least for Orlando. Uh, I, I agree. Um, but here's another thing. It's like, you know, I live 20 minutes outside of um, Universal Studios Hollywood, Eddie. So you should probably book <laughs> your uh, trip over here, Eddie. Hey. And uh, you can just crash at my place and save a ton of money, Eddie. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> But nonetheless, um, we do have some. Yeah, we got the dates announced. We got tickets on sale over in Orlando. Um, we're gonna go to the predictions kind of uh, and final thoughts process of this video. But I want to talk a little bit about uh, predictions first. Um, so we've already said Stranger Things two is a given. Um, yep. Hopefully, Killer Clowns that was teased heavily at Midsummer Scream last year. Yep. Um, what a horse of Blumhouse of some sort or of Blumhouse property of some sort. Because of Halloween. the relationship, uh, hopefully Halloween, yeah. Uh, because of the relationship of Universal and Blumhouse, that is, a, I think it's a universally owned uh, company. And then over here at um, Hollywood, I want to say hopefully a Universal Monsters 2 that covers the other monsters that we didn't get to see in the first one. Yeah, so I, I've heard the possibility of that coming to Orlando as well. And that is a welcomed announcement just because I, I got to say I was pretty jealous at the photos that I saw and the videos that I saw from the house on your end. Yeah. And you guys had a pretty crazy scare zone that led into that house at, or led out of that house. Yeah, yeah. That was a monster, Monsters Masquerade. And that was more of the Phantom of the Opera type uh, portion. But it had all the monsters included. And that was a very fun scare zone. But those are going to be a couple of my predictions. What do you got for your end? So um, Stranger Things, obviously, get that out the way. That's that's coming. Season 2, Stranger Things, coming. Yeah. Halloween Horror Nights. Um, I, I can't speak on, it, on Halloween Horror Nights' behalf or Universal's behalf. But um, I'd be more surprised if it didn't come at this point. Yeah. Killer Clowns, I'd say we got probably like a 60 to 70% of them returning just because how successful they were. Um, other houses that I think will be coming, um, last year we had a scare zone with Chucky, and this year we have a new silver screen release of Chucky Child's Play. So he's been to the event, he's been to your event, I believe he had the Insult Emporium at your event. Which, by the way, that trailer did not catch my attention yet, so... It, it did not, it did not, but um, the fact that he is a familiar face, they've done it before, he was at the event last year, he's been at your event before with the Insult Emporium, he's been at my event with a uh, an actual house before. He's been at my event with the house too, actually, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, so it, it is easy peasies for them. I'm, I'm sure they have the props somewhere tucked away. So. House, uh, Terra Tram, he's been on the Terra Tram. Yeah, so that that I think is a a definite, or I mean definite possibility. That's that's like a that's a weird way of positioning, right? A definite <laughs> possibility. It's a given. Uh, yeah, I mean it's a possibility. Um, and then another property that has had some appearance at your event, actually, but not at mine, I don't believe. And I really want to see is La Llorona. La Llorona, yep. Uh, hey, come on, Anthony. <laughs> you're you're Hispanic, man. You should know how to pronounce the double L, bro. No, yeah. And, and that's funny that you bring that up because that is going to be, I think, Warner Brothers. So there's yeah, another that... up-and-coming event that i attended last year yeah but that is i mean a, that is a story for another video yeah that those guys are getting in the way of a couple things but la llorona has been to the event before yeah and um you know other events you know love making money so they could sell the rights off oh, yeah. so potentially 
this could be something that returns to Halloween Horror Nights and that particular event that we will not speak of right now doesn't exist in Orlando. Uh, HMH? Yeah, it doesn't exist in Orlando. So it's very possible that they could sell the rights off to Universal Studios in Orlando so that Orlando could do the La Llorona house. Um, And La Llorona is a very, very terrifying tale. Um, And if that movie is successful, I could see that easily being a house that they fit into the lineup. Um, My last speculation, and uh, once again, this is all speculation that I did on my recent speculation video, not to do a cheesy plug, but I just did. Um, But (laughs) the last house that I think can potentially be coming to the event is another house that has a silver screen released this year in April, which is Pet Cemetery. Um, I'm a huge fan of Pet Cemetery. I'm sure you are as well, Anthony. We got the great Stephen King. I'm going to be honest with you. Never seen the original. What? Yeah, uncle, you're, but my you're too uncle young. said just to wait for the remake because it's going to blow the original away. I mean, more than likely. I mean, once you, uh, I'm sure the original for me at its time and point was terrifying. And if I were to watch it again, it wouldn't be as terrifying, but it would have a kind of nostalgic feeling for me. So I would still enjoy it. But for somebody like yourself who hasn't seen it, may not enjoy it as much as because you know. Oh, I'm you're, still gonna watch it regardless because I want to see yeah, what I'm walking into. But you're you're more used to modern technology, so you'd have a yeah. hard time adjusting to it, just like anybody else. No, no big deal. But the new one, I. I think the trailer looks awesome. Yeah. Um, and also something that I that I spoke about as well is the fact that Universal already hands their hand they they have their hands in this one. Universal, uh, I think it's Universal Inter- International is already um, part of the distribution for this movie. So um, they have their hands in it. It could be something that they could bring to the event this year, and I think um, would be something that they could easily incorporate because I could see it being a house easily. Easily. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll stop talking, and I'll give you an opportunity to speak yourself. No, you're good. No, that was your uh, kind of predictions portion, and I'm glad you uh, threw out some, a lot of those out there. But uh, that is going to do it for today's uh, East versus West episode. Um, we just wanted to give you a little update of where we both are as far as the events go. Um, if you want to, if you want more of East versus West, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, subscribe to Eddie Tamman's channel because he is going to be doing some HHN content uh, as it rolls out. Uh, and he's doing other content as well. So just go subscribe to Eddie Tamman because, you know, you need to. That's all. You, that's yeah. it. That's all you got to do. That's it. That's, that's it. all you got to do. I want to thank all the certified members of the Madhouse, uh, certified insane members of the Madhouse for the constant support. Uh, we are going to be coming back pretty soon with some more original videos. And for now, though, enjoy, of course, this video and the Mindless Horror Podcast every week. Um, but with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Again, be sure to subscribe to Edutainment. Follow him on Twitter. Follow him on Facebook, Instagram, all his social media. Just do it because I guarantee you, you're not going to want to miss out what he has to say. Be sure to Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to be part of the Madhouse. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Nights of Horror, at The Nights of Horror. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.